Omega-3 fatty acids are polyunsaturated fatty acids, or PUFAs. They play an important role in human physiology, and we're recommended to get a high level of these fatty acids in our diet. One type of omega-3 is called DPA, or docosapentaenoic acid. This particular omega-3 isn't as talked about as the others, such as EPA and DHA. However, it carries with it many health benefits. DPA does many things for human health. First of all, DPA is a sort of catalyst which maximizes the usefulness of other omega-3 such as DHA and EPA. DPA also has many of its own health benefits such as improved wound healing, prevention of thrombosis, activation of fat burning in the body, and production of anti-inflammation agents into the body. DHA, EPA, and DPA together form a very powerful anti-inflammatory compound in the body. But DPA actually does even more than that. In fact, DPA also helps by promoting cognitive development in children under two, slows cognitive decline as people age, reduces the risk of mental health problems and mood disorders, and supports eye health. Now I'm sure that you are sold on the health benefits of omega-3 fatty acids called DPA. You'd like to know the best sources for it. The primary and best source of DPA in general is seafood, specifically the oils of certain marine animals. Here's the top five sources of DPA in the natural world. Coming in at number five is cod liver oil. This can be taken in either liquid or capsule form, and cod liver oil is 0.9% DPA. Number four is sardine oil. Sardines can be found in cans of either water or olive oil, and they contain 2% DPA. Salmon is number three, and salmon oil contains 3% DPA. Number two is Manhattan oil, which contains 4.9% DPA. But the number one best source of DPA is seal oil, which contains an astounding 5.6% DPA. Because seal oil contains such high levels of DPA, along with very high levels of EPA and DHA, omega-3 fatty acids, seal oil is truly one of the healthiest sources of omega-3 in the world. For more information on omega-3 and how you can consume it and take it into your diet, please visit plantology.ca. That's plantology.ca. Go there and there's tons of information and we will see you there. Thank you.